I have an Android car stereo unit with broken display. I found an supplier on Aliexpress to purchase a suitable display. When you purchase a display please check the specifications of the display. Specially numbers of pins of the display and also the height and width of the display. Further thickness is also important as it may not fit for the frame of the unit. After confirming the display specifications, you can place the order. I ordered this and received me within two weeks. It is important to record a video about unboxing the display as you can provide proof to the supplier if there is any defects on the display. This unit is well packed with a form box and wrapped with bubble paper. If you watch carefully, you can see a protecting sticker on the display. After permanently installed the display, you have to remove it. Check all the parts, flex cable and the display surface to ensure that there are no damages or cracks. If you are satisfied with the display, we can install it. Before installing the display to the device, device power should be off and, you have to fix the cable to the correct direction. If you fix the cable into wrong side, the display will burn. Now I fixed the flex cable of the display to the Android car stereo. Let's check with giving power to the device. The display is working fine. Now you can install the display permanently. First remove the protecting sticker of the display and install it to the plastic frame carefully. Do not force much to the display. It may cause to crack the display. Once the display placed correctly, we can fix the capacitive digitizer touch screen. There is a broken cable of my touch screen. I will fix it after fixing the touch screen to the display.
Now the installation is completed. Before tightening the screws, check the touch screen is working properly. You must ensure that the display react correctly to the place you touched. Thank you for watching the video and subscribing my channel. Stay with Set and Fix.